Jamaica's Adele Tracy threw to 1,500 meters next round as 4 by 400 meters mixed relay team misses podium opportunity. Welcome back to the channel, people. Welcome back to the channel. If this is your first time here, thank you for making it Peter Lloyd World. Now go ahead, please hit the subscribe button so we can continue to grow. When you do that, go ahead and hit the notification bell so you know when the next video drops. We drop a video at least once a day here on Peter Lloyd World. Also, if you enjoy the content, please hit that like button. And finally, leave your comments after this sports analysis where we take a look at and we break down the races. So, when you're ready, yep! Good to go. Now, full disclosure, because this is a global event of this magnitude, because of copyright reasons, we are unable to show you any clips and or videos of the event or we will get a stri copyright strike against our channel and YouTube will remove the video. So we simply can't show you anything. So I just want you all to be fully aware that we simply cannot show you the video. Anybody you see doing that is taking a massive uh, chance. We simply can't do it here at Peter Lloyd World because of our relationship with YouTube. So yesterday, the first day of the competition being held in Eugene, Oregon, Jamaica shone bright like a diamond, as Rihanna would have said, really, really well. In fact, all of our participants, participants in day one um, with the exception of, I believe, Tajay Gale in the men's long jump, and we know that he is injured, so he was not able to compete, went through to the second round and or the next level of their event. Jamaica is doing extremely well, as we all anticipated. Now, in the women's 1,500 meters in Heat 2, we were happy to see Jamaica, um, represented by a young lady called Adele Tracy, who did us proud making it through to the next round by placing in the top six. Now, I keep telling you that in the heat, your job is simply to get to the next round. You do not need to run a PB, a personal record, etc. You just need to get to the next round. Now, if you know nothing about Adele Tracy, let me give you a very brief and quick history. Adele Tracy is born in the United States, ran and represented for the United Kingdom, and is now um, running for the sweet, sweet island of Jamaica land we love. And uh, I believe she may be the first Jamaican in some time to get to the second round of a major global competition of this level in the women's 1500 meters. You know, Jamaicans are mostly known for the one lap, the 200 and the 100 meters, etc. So I wanted to feature this because I think this is a big, big deal for us to become a true globally dominant superpower in terms of track and field we need to move beyond just the short sprints we need to get into um, the field events which we're beginning to do and uh, we need to get into the middle and long distance so kudos to jamaica's new rep adele tracy big up and bless up adele uh, hopefully she does well in the semi-finals now we have um, a topic we want to talk about. It might be somewhat of a rant. So this is just my two cents. Yesterday in the first track finals, Jamaica placed fifth in the mixed relays four by 400 meters. And I am a little, people, I'm a little upset about this. I'm going to tell you why I'm upset about this. Um, if you had an opportunity to see the race, we were able to bring in Stacey Ann Williams, who is ranked, I think, fifth or sixth in the world so far for the 400 meters women according to the 2022 season but here's why i'm upset from the heats um colombia um, uh, um all, all the the major the us all these people brought in their a team they brought in the best that they could find and put on the team and in fact in the finals united states added allison felix Right? Um, I think they still ended up coming third. I believe that we have a massive assortment of talent, um, super donkey man, etc. There's so many people that we could have drawn from, and I am not knocking the team. Um, Demisha, um, Demisha Gale, um, Bartlett, uh, um, the team, the initial team, they were good. But we could have fielded a better team. I, I almost had the feeling 
that we didn't care like that the the coaching staff and management team there at that champion in Eugene, Oregon didn't care about this medal, people. We had predicted a bronze medal. I'm telling you, we could have won that bronze medal had we fielded a stronger team from the very beginning because when we bought a Stacey, can you imagine if we had a Cherokee and a Stacey? Stacey and Williams, we would have won. We could have come second. I mean, come on. I don't normally complain. You know, because I, it must be very, very difficult for these people to make these decisions. And I also know that they have to get the permission of the athletes. And all of these athletes have their um, personal events to run in the 400 meters, etc. But come on, people. We had a strong enough team. We had us. We have a massive depth of talent in the women. And we have a strong enough depth of talent in the men. We could have won a medal in this. And the, the aim here is to win medals, people. So, um, you know, next time, please send out the A-team. Everyone else sent out their A-team. Um, the, 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 the Republic of Dominica put out um, Paulino, the best in the world over the 400 meters thus far this year. Come on, people. Seriously. Seriously. I mean, I was really upset about this. Um, had we fielded a stronger team, people, I guarantee you we would have medaled. Now, Kudos to the team that we did send because we came fifth and we ran a season's best in the process. So um, big, big respect to them. They did a great job. But come on, guys. I mean, seriously speaking, you know, a, a gold medal is a gold medal, a silver is a silver, and we're there to get medals. <sighs> what a most hear the frustration of my voice. Because people, trust me, we could have we could have easily won a medal in this. Easily. Um, I thought we would have fielded a stronger team. And I'm not knocking McGregor and all the people who ran. They, I mean, they were good, but we have, from day one, from the heats, we should have fielded. Look at who all the other teams sent out. They sent out their A game. They sent out the best that they had at the very beginning. We should have done better, people. Especially since I know that the coaching staff must have been aware that we could only change one person because um, the... World Athletics had changed the rules. Come on, guys. Let's let's no more boo boos, okay? No more boo boos for the rest of this competition. You know, we literally gave away a medal. I want us to walk away with 14 medals this year, and that's one of the medals I was counting on. And I'm telling you, people, I'm going to say this again. Had we fielded a stronger team, we could have easily just just put in Cherokee and 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 put in Stacey and Williams. We would have won a medal. I'm guaranteeing you all of you this. You know, it's almost as if we just didn't think this medal counted. It counts. <sighs> anyway. Usa. We try to be unemotional here. We try to be balanced. But people are... Anyway. This, of course, is just my two cents. It's more kudos to the mixed 4x400 four meter relay team. Running a season's best is always an amazing thing. Um, by the way, the season's best they ran was... was Three minutes, 12.17 seconds. Congrats. Um, you guys did a great job, you know. Um, anyway, don't forget to hit the subscribe button, hit the notification bell. Hit the like button if you enjoy the videos. Leave your comments and keep it locked here at Peter Lloyd World. We will be keeping you updated and giving you sports summaries as we go through. Today is going to be an amazing day. We have the women's 100-meter um, heats coming up and the men's 100-meter semifinals coming up. So, keep it locked. Remember, you are royals. Act accordingly, kings and queens. Bless up!